Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Josh Noel with Premium Beat, and in this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create a mobile device animation. Now this is a very easy tutorial and a lot of fun to create this. However, if you're in a time crunch and you want a very professional template that you can just drag and drop your elements and have a mobile device animation, go ahead and check our links in the description. Also on our blog for this rocket stock product called Fast Forward, which has over 17 slides of mobile animation that you can just drag and drop your images and it's ready to go within a couple of minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and let's get started. So first things first, we want to create the mobile device. That's the important thing of this video. So it's actually very easy. So the first thing we want to identify the type of tool that we want to use to create our phone. Now, phones are rectangles, right? They're squares, you know, rectangle, you use a rectangle tool. However, I suggest using the rounded rectangle tool uh, since phones are typically don't have you know, sh sharp edges, right? Maybe there's a couple out there, but you know, I'm an iPhone guy, so I really don't know all the specs out there, but you come here, grab your round rectangle tool, and you kind of draw out a nice shape like this, and to me, that looks like a phone shape as well. So first things first here, click on the word stroke if this is enabled, and set this to none, click OK, and fill, the color doesn't matter at the moment, we'll get into that in a second. So we come over here to the line tab and just line this up right here in the center so we see what we're doing. And boom, there is the outline of our phone. And before we continue further in making this a three-dimensional object, I want to outline the screen. So come in here and grab the rectangle tool. This should actually be a rectangle. And just draw out the rectangle for the screen like this. And we might want to just change the color so we can see it on top of our phone here. So we'll just say this is our phone. And we can rename this layer to screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screen layer, go up to layer pre-compose. And we're going to call this one just screen comp. And we'll click OK. And I'm going to pre-compose our front comp here as well. So pre-compose this. And I'm going to call this one uh, front phone. All right. So now that we have the two compositions here, let's go ahead and pre-compose both of these compositions together. Layer pre-compose. And we'll just call this one front. OK. So now we'll be able to go into this comp later and add elements to this and it'll all make a lot of sense. Okay, so now I want to make this layer into a 3D layer. You can toggle switch the modes until you see the 3D layer icon and this is what we have. Now what I want to do is go into my comps and grab the front phone composition and bring this back into here and make this a 3D layer. And hit P on my keyboard for position, go into Z space and we're going to want to bring this backwards, right? Just by a little bit. Go to effect, generate, fill. Uh, this way we can kind of see what we're doing here for a second. So make it red, doesn't matter. And we'll go up to Layer, New, Camera. And we'll click OK. And if we go to the Camera Tools over here at the top where this camera icon is, you go to Orbit Camera Tool, we can flip it here and see what we're doing. So there is our background. We might want to bring this in by a little bit so it's not like way too thick. And there is our phone. Now we have to start doing the edges here, right? All right, so I'm going to rename the back layer here just to back so we know what we're doing. And then I'm going to duplicate the back layer and we're going to scale this, break down this chain here, break this uh, chain for scale. And we're going to hit R on keyboard for rotation and we can rotate this uh, 90 degrees. And I want to restore this back here and we'll come here to this layer, rename it to right. And we can just move this over until the side. And go back to scale and we can scale this back in and I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard for position and I can move the X position over here go back to our scale value and maybe set this down to 8 and kind of just start to fine-tune this to where this is gonna be directly kind of like this where it's like connecting the sides very easily so now we have a three-dimensional shape in here and that should be good and then of course now we go back to like the back color here and we can select this blue and it blends very nicely together and we can duplicate this layer by going to edit, duplicate the right layer I'm talking about, rename it to left, and just hit here and keyboard for position, use the position here, not the arrows, and we can use the X position to you know, move this to the other side. And we can copy our fill, and we go back into our front layer, and we can just paste this on top of the fr front of the phone, and we go into the front layer and paste this onto the front, so we have that there, and now we have our phone very similar to this. So now we can start changing out the elements here and we go into our front composition, go into the screen comp and we go up to composition, composition settings 
and we can decrease the width here of the composition to kind of match up the size of our screen. Yeah, just like that. And we do the height. And now we can start designing the UI of our phone. I already have a preset UI in here, so I'm gonna just drag and drop this in here and scale this up to about, and bring this down there. So boom, there's my UI, just drag and drop this in here. You can download the project files if you're looking to follow along with this video, but we'll go back to our main comp and boom, there is the UI of our phone. So we can come here to the orbit camera tool and now our phone is in play. Now. There's some things that we can do in here. I want to obviously design some icons on the front of the phone, uh, like the home button and some speakers. I want to add like this nice reflection here like you saw in the preview. So what we can do is go up to effect color correction curves on the front layer, increase this. We can open up our layer here, go into effects, go to curves, and we go to compositing options and we can add plus. And now what we can do is grab the pen tool and just come here do like a nice mask like this and close this up and go to mask reference one and set this to mask one and boom now we have the entire reflection on our cell phone just like that so now i want to apply this to the back and now what we can do is copy the curves paste it to the back copy the mask paste it to the back and go back into the curves layer so go open the property go to effects go to curves go to compositing options again and or actually you didn't have to do that but set it to mask one and boom now we have it set to the back of this and now we have a nice reflection in here to kind of add more depth to our phone now we got to make this into an actual you know phone because right now it just looks like a block with a ui on it so what we can do to make this happen is to go back into our front layer we can go into the front 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 layer and we can start designing some of these elements so we can come here grab say the ellipse tool and we can draw a perfect circle down shift on your keyboard. We can maybe make this black if we want. Maybe add a little bit of a stroke. Set this solid color. Set this to white. We can lower down the stroke count to maybe like three. We can center this up to around here. Go back into our main comp. And now you can have a home button there. Uh, we can come here to the top. We, maybe we can duplicate uh, the home button. And we can turn it into a camera maybe this time we'll just turn off the stroke and we'll scale this down and then we'll also duplicate it again scale it down again so maybe it's like and we can scale it down once more and maybe we'll just add like another circle to it and of course on top of this we can add like a speaker so we can grab the rounded rectangle tool draw out this rounded rectangle like this now we added some actual elements of a phone Okay, so let's say we want to animate this phone. So let's go up to Layer, New, Null Object. Now this is an easy way to control the actual camera itself by using a null object because the camera can get really funky. So parent the camera to the null object. Make sure the null object is a 3D layer, of course. So let's say we want to add a spin to this. So we can open up our transform properties, come here to the Y rotation, go forward to two seconds, and we can spin this. And we get all the way to 360 or zero degrees. And boom, now we have the spin of the phone. And at two seconds, let's add a keyframe for position. Let's go to five seconds here, and we can zoom into the phone. And maybe also increase the Y position here to kind of move up a little bit. So now we have the spin, and we zoom into the phone. Let's make all these keyframes easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And this is just a good way to animate the phone with using, using very simple controls. Make sure to turn on motion blur for all your layers, of course. So let's say we want to add a background shadow for the phone here. What we can do is grab all of our layers except for the background, pre-compose these, call it phone uh, final, and we can duplicate the phone layer, go up to effect perspective, and we'll do drop shadow, do shadow only, uh, put this layer underneath the phone layer, and we go here to the distance, we can offset this by a little bit, and we can increase the softness if we want to, we can increase the direction, the opacity, so you have a lot of control over what you can do here with that shadow. And now if you want to animate the UI, we have full control over whatever you want to do. You go into your screen composition and you can animate all the elements here separately. They're independent of the animation and it'll be updated right here in your main comp. So that's really cool. And that's how you're able to set up this mobile animation in this 3D, 2D look here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very helpful. Remember, if you're on the time crunch and you want to have 
a result ready to go go ahead and check out rocket stocks template fast forward the link will be on our blog or in the description of this video on youtube so hope you guys enjoyed this video for more tutorials please be sure to check out our blog at premiumbeat.com and if you're in the need for royalty free music we have a huge library full of great music for your projects so if you have the time i invite you to check us out at premiumbeat.com and once again thank you for watching this video and this has been joshua noel from premiumbeat.com